All right, good day, my people. All right, today I'm going to go from the second book of Kings, and I'm going to go to chapter 4, and I'm going to go to verse 38. And it says, And Elijah returned to Gilgal, and there was a famine in the land. Now the sons of the prophets were sitting before him, and he said to his servant, Put on the large pot and boil stew for the sons of the prophets. So one went out into the field to gather herbs and found a wild vine and gathered it from a lapful of wild goods and came and sliced them into the pot of stew. Though they did not know what they were, then they served it to the men to eat. Now it happened as they were eating the stew that they cried out and said, Man of God, there is death in the pot. And they could not eat it. So he said, Then bring some. So then Elijah said to the men, Elijah said to the men, Bring flour. So Elijah put it into the pot and said, Serve it to the people that they may eat. And there was nothing harmful in the pot. So, my people, today, you might be sitting around your family, your friends, right? And there is people trying to poison your success. There is people trying to poison your marriage. There is people trying to poison your kids. There is people trying to poison your health. People are trying to kill your dreams. They're trying to kill you. They're trying to kill the goodness that the Lord has put inside of you to take to the world. Right? There is many of you that are going through famine. Many of you have nothing at the moment. And certain men of God are coming to you. And they're trying to poison you. I, they're telling you... They're putting mixtures into the words to try and poison you. See, every single day we're fighting a battle. Right? Because certain men of God are coming with false teachings, false doctrines, saying you have to pay me a thousand pounds before you see me. So... When a good man, so these are the, the, this evil prophet, yeah, was sent to try and kill all these people. But he mingled with the people. That's what he says, right? He went out and he got some herbs. But somewhere down the line, the devil twisted his brain and he got evil poison herbs and it's the same as many people they'll come with a word with the nice herb the nice seed word but really it's just poison yeah but no weapon formed against us shall prosper remember that no weapon formed against us shall prosper shall prosper no weapon formed against us shall prosper, shall prosper. Okay, so now, these men of God are crying out. And they're saying, man of God, Elijah, help us, it's poison. And Elijah says, bring me the flour. He, puts, he sprinkles the flour on the stew. And they can eat it because it's still fresh. But our flower today is Jesus. So when someone's trying to poison your finance, sprinkle Jesus. When someone's trying to kill your kids, sprinkle Jesus. When someone's trying to poison your marriage, sprinkle Jesus. 
when somebody's trying to kill your dreams and kill your people and kill your family, sprinkle Jesus. Because Jesus is the flower. Remember, Elijah put the flower into the poison pot and they could eat it. So the weapon that was formed against them did not prosper. And every weapon that is formed against us today, my people, should not prosper. Because we have the flower, just like Elijah had the flower. But our flower is Jesus. So sprinkle Jesus over the poison. Sprinkle Jesus over the hatred. Sprinkle Jesus over the false prophets that come into your life. Sprinkle Jesus over the false scriptures, yeah, and the false revelations that people try and bring against you. Sprinkle the flower. Sprinkle Jesus. Sprinkle Jesus. Sprinkle Jesus. Sprinkle him all over your house. Sprinkle him in your car. Sprinkle him on your children. Sprinkle him on your, your living room. Sprinkle him on your floors. Because no weapon formed against us when we sprinkle Jesus. Because he is the flower. Just like Elijah used in the boiling pot. So sprinkle Jesus everywhere you go. Sprinkle him. My Lord, I pray for my people today on this Friday. That you will give them a word. And that you would make them see that no weapon formed against them shall prosper, shall prosper. No weapon against, no weapon formed against them shall prosper, shall prosper. No weapon formed against them shall prosper, shall prosper. No weapon formed against them shall prosper, shall prosper. She boy gifted one saying, bless up all my people. Have a lovely day in the name of Jesus. Remember, sprinkle the flower. Sprinkle Jesus, sprinkle Jesus, amen.